Now, think this through. What I'd like you to do is consider the fact that these guys have given their all over many heat races and some won't be back. So come on, Borderline. What about grabbing those caps, grabbing those programs and getting up off the seats and saying thanks for a top show. Good luck to two of you. Here it goes. Come on, warm them up as they come around. What about a great big cheer? Put your hands together. Come on around the back straight. You've been the most vocal so far. Come on, roar when they come around into the back. 60 car pulling to the infield there, Ant. Kevin McCallum in trouble has said goodbye to when he shut it down. Only two from the seat of the B. This is Borderline Speedway on Nationals Night and the Green Flies. Cuts equal with Smith. The two of them together. Cuts in trouble. Cuts in trouble with the car. The race goes on. Contact with Smith on the second turn and the luckless Western Australia may have broken chassis components and it looks like his title tour may be over. Smith in the meantime is the race leader car eight from South Australia. But have a look at this. Running second place, the man who took the title in 68 in Bob Tunks from New South Wales. Roy Wright off the circuit momentarily. Race leader now starting to open up a gap. Four or five lengths, the lead margin. In second place, Tunks Priola from Western Australia. Running in third place, followed by Wright from Victoria. Further back is Milburn. Then Grant Tunks in the double five car, who's come from the back of the pack. But the guy they've got to run down is Peter Smith. Priola in the IKEA entry. Trying to play catch up to Bob Tunks in the yellow 55, uh, 54 car. And the two of them are at very rapid rate. Milburn retires from the event, goes to the infield. He's races over for the title chase. The race leader, Pete Smith, backs it into the corner. Here's second and third now as Priola starts to catch up with Tunks. We have got 14 laps remaining. This is desperate stuff. Race leader. Continues on. Tunks now starting to move up a little closer to him as the pitcher tells a thousand words here. The eight car, the leader, the yellow 54 car in second place. Car number 12 all the way from the west is in third. And these three guys are pacing it out. Turn two action. Race leader. Up in the back straight away. Going in through the traffic, he passes the 73 car of Butch Hunter from Baggins Marsh in Victoria. This is going to bring out the quality of the drivers. Tunks trying to thread his way to within striking distance. Contacts with the, the 73 car of Hunter. Priola tries to take advantage of the ball. Leader goes by. Tunks now cutting down the low line. He gets through. Now the buffer's in. Tunks setting it away. Priola trying to get through the last of the back markers. The race leader now with eight laps remaining. Peter Smith opens up a gap again. Tunks in pursuit. There's Priola in the blue Ikea car. And two of them have got together. Three of them. And caution on the speedway. We'll go to the replay up here to look at the incident. Just uh, have a look at uh, Pioli's car. Replay now as they come into turn number one. And getting together is Roy Wright locks up over the top of Butch Hunter and Cuts just happens all in front of him. Ian, uh, Terry cuts out of the race with a flat right rear tyre. The other two cars, not enough damage to put him out of the race. Everything's OK. Thanks, Jim. Restart here for the C-Main. Have a look at this. Oh, around the 3-4 uh, turn, we see Pete Smith up into the action. Have a look at this. A little bit of prid pro quo, one would say. We'll leave it at that one. And Pete Smith still away. Bob Tunks back in the second place. Primo Parola was there for a moment. He's in third behind that Roy Wright. Freddie Edwards and Butch Hunter bringing up the rear of the field. Race of attrition here for the C-Main. Smith settling down. Out the lead again in the uh, colour type labels car. Around the one-two turn, down the back straight. He's heading towards turn at number three. A bit of a rut there, bounces through it, handles it well. Track looking great. Smith goes by. This time five remaining out of the journey. Smith just needs to settle himself down on the car. He will get a berth. Position 15 
on tonight. B main. This is the C. We're going for the B after this. And anything is a possibility. Always on Nationals by. Smith around. Takes another lap down as we see Bob Tunks in the 54 car go by. He's settling down thinking, well, I've got second at the moment. I just need to keep Priola at bay. Have a look at Philly Smith turning the car inside out, lifting the left front wheel. Just absolutely, as we call it in the old days, backing it in the turn. Smith at the back straight. This 372 yard bull ring here at Mount Gambia, South Australia. Top little gumbo surface, and these guys are making every advantage of it. Smith again. Flicks the car into the turn. On the gas. Hard. Down passes. Checkered flag. And Peter Smith makes his way. Transfers into the B main. Behind him, Bob Tunks, the veteran, the man who won it in 1968, and Pino Priola, third from Western Australia. Pino Priola. Pino Parola was the guy that was pulling all of the desperate moves, hit everything else but the kitchen sink, and I'm sure if he could have found one, he'd have done that as well. Desperate moves from Priola. Wanted to make the B main, didn't uh, quite go far enough, didn't hit it. <laughs> if he'd hit any more, well, would have been just bad luck for uh, Pino, but certainly a, a great drive to the uh, Bob Tunks, the veteran. He's been around for many years, made many a great trip to uh, the borderline clay.